welcome to the farm. We're here mostly because this is where Andrew's family is and we're visiting them for the weekend, but also because tomorrow there is a yoga day planned in town that my sister-in-law has helped to organize. And I just felt like I wanted to support it because this is kind of where it all started for me. So this is where I started teaching yoga in a very small community RSL hall to about five regulars who would come along every week and I would hire the hall for literally $5. And I feel like this community supported me so well when I first got started. And if it hadn't have been for that, I would be doing all the things that I'm doing in the yoga space now but it's interesting as I've mentioned on Instagram November has turned out to be a really bonkers month for me <laughs> No, stop. it's just crazy with social events and all the other things and I found myself late last week feeling like I don't have time to go to Bell I don't have time to do this day of yoga I've got all these other things on my plate at the moment and just feeling like I didn't have time for this and it's really funny that this is probably the thing I need the most some downtime some time on my own all day tomorrow doing some yoga with other like-minded people and that's the thing I resist the most. So I guess I really just wanted to say if you are finding yourself resisting whether it's doing a yoga class or resisting taking a nap or resisting eating the good food or whatever it is that you know is good for you and you know will make you feel better but you're really struggling to kind of get going in that area just know that resistance is super normal and we all feel it, like this is my job, this is what I do for a living and I still feel resistance about giving it to myself even though I talk all the time to other people about why they need to do it. So I think it's really true that we often teach what we need to hear the most, certainly I know that's true for me. So I'm going to enjoy the evening, we've got a bit of a social thing on this afternoon and then enjoy the day tomorrow without kids, without responsibilities, just looking after myself for the entire day. So if you're feeling like you need permission to do that for yourself too, not that you actually need permission, you have mine, go ahead and take some time for yourself in this crazy Christmas holiday season. Good morning, Luca. Good weekend, boys. and I realized that I never came back after the yoga class because we left pretty much straight after yoga. We drove three hours home and by that point I was just exhausted and then 
hit the ground running into the week with work and the boys going to school and all of those good things. So just before I end this vlog, I wanted to just share with you a couple of things that I found myself reflecting on on Sunday. It was such a beautiful, gentle day and was really what I needed at the time. So I'm so glad that I did it. So the few things that I was thinking of throughout the day, because as I mentioned, I started my yoga teaching in this little town. But it's interesting to think now because it's over 10 years since I first started teaching there and how much the community has changed. Like when I was teaching, yoga was very much brand new. Not many people did yoga. Whereas now there's a lot more people who are interested in yoga and who are doing yoga regularly, which is so great. It was also nice to reflect on how far my teaching was come. Like I still remember how I felt in those first few classes and feeling unsure what to share, whether to stick to just the physical stuff or whether to share more of the spiritual stuff and the mental stuff. And, and even though in the last 10 years, I've definitely been preoccupied with raising a family and looking after my boys. It's yeah, it's just really cool to see how far my teaching has actually come. I think it's also interesting to reflect on how my practice has changed. I remember when I was teaching back then, my practice was really focused on the physical. I was more interested in doing things with the body. And nowadays my practice is almost the complete opposite. I'm more interested in the meditation, in the spiritual side and how yoga can help me day to day rather than how I can get better at yoga. It's a completely different mindset. And I think it is the natural development of the more you dive into yoga that you move away from just the physical and you move more into the mindset and the spiritual side, which is really nice. And so before I go, I just really wanna emphasize the point. I was resisting this day big time. I thought of a million reasons why I shouldn't go, why I didn't have time to go and why doing something for me in this crazy busy time of year was probably not the best use of my time. And of course, it was exactly the thing that I needed. I'm feeling so much better this week, even though I am working more than ever this week because I'm trying to get ahead so I can have a little bit of a break over the Christmas holidays. I just feel so much more grounded. I feel like I'm in my body, there's time enough for everything. And so I just want to encourage you, if you are feeling frazzled, if you're feeling like you have no time, the solution to that is stopping all of the things you feel like you have to do and giving yourself some time to do what will make you feel good. And this doesn't mean you have to take a whole day out. Like this is pretty unusual for me as well. Maybe you actually do need to take a whole day out. Maybe that's what will make you feel better. If you can swing it, maybe take a day off work. Do you have any sick leave? I fully endorse mental health days. I think they're so important. And if one day off means that you don't spend your entire holidays physically ill because you've given yourself that chance to have a break, then I think it's worth it. So that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed following us for the weekend and I'll see you soon. Bye.